Sports here with me, Muftao Nabila Abdullah. The Africa Games Local Organizing Committee went on a tour of the facility, especially the one at the Legon Sports Stadium, one of the areas that is expected to be the center of the action during the Games in March next year. And um, the Africa Union representative for the a Games, Dr. Desios Chimpande, he says that he and his team are satisfied with the work done so far. According to him, about 87% uh, uh, of the construction of the facilities uh, has been concluded, and uh, he hopes that by February, the facilities will be ready for testing. I think we are very happy with the progress that has been made so far, and we are, the African Union is very, very grateful with the great investment that the government of the Republic of, of Ghana has put into the construction of the facilities. Last time when we were here, we were assured by the um, LOC that um, by December, all the facilities will be uh, completed and ready for, for the games. And for sure, this time we just uh, visited Legon. It's nearly complete, and um, here we are now. When I see the overall percentage there, I think it is about 87%. So this is very impressive. and. Um, the confederations who are the custodians of sports uh, in terms of um, who are the custodians of appreciating the technical aspects of the organizations of the game the organization of the games rather they were very impressed um, and um, they are very supportive and they were very happy so this means that you know the games are coming and everyone is happy in terms of uh, the preparation so far a lot of things of course a lot of work still has to be done but we are overall very happy and uh, very grateful for the great investment and the support from the Ghanaian people and the government of the Republic of Ghana. And as the chairperson of the LOC pointed out, of course, we are calling upon more support to the corporate world to support the, the biggest um, um, competition on the continent, which is the African Games. And above all, we are also grateful to the representatives of government, you know, the chef de mission uh, um, and, uh, and delegation leaders who are here also to support us and to, to ensure that they see um, the great efforts that the government of the Republic of Ghana is putting into, the great works that the LOC and, and all of you, the Ghanaian people, are putting towards the, the hosting of the 2023 African Games that will be held in 2024 in March. Thank you. And talking of sport and infrastructure, Magdan, he has constructed an astroturf for the people of Teshi and has called on other corporate organizations to also do the same to develop uh, young talents within their various localities. Um, I believe you all know what the brand Magdan stands for. I mean, we stand for impact. Anything we do is all about the impact. It's not how much we can do, but how much impact the brand can create. The foundation did not start today. Consistency is our hallmark. And we have been very consistent in building communities and building sports in this country. Um, actually, this is going to be the fifth, um, the fifth uh, sports uh, village, that uh, sports complex that we are putting up. The one at the um, Adra is a whole village by itself, and uh, it's going to be the biggest in West Africa. Uh, currently, here, this is the phase one. The phase two will be the VIP. We are building the whole football academy here for the people of Teshi. Teshi is a big community, and we have a lot of footballers coming out of here. So whatever we do, and uh, we thank the sports minister for giving us the applause. And um, we are also calling on the corporate Ghana, other businessmen. It, it looks like it's only Magdan Foundation who is fully supporting some of this initiative. And I can tell you and uh, proudly tell you that it is only Magdan Foundation as a single individual who are building these uh, parks across the country. Our next stop will be in Keta, and also after Keta, we'll be in Ogwa in the Cape Coast region. This is what we are doing to create the needed impact that we have to train the people. And um, if you look at what is going on in Ghana, there are abundance in, of talent, but uh, 
We lack the facility, we lack the expertise. Football is a multi-billion dollar business. And as at now, McDonald had been able to send not less than seven footballers out of this country, play, applying their uh, um, um, profession in uh, Europe. So very soon you hear their name. McDonald is speaking following the unveiling of uh, a new astroturf for the people of Thesha. And now let's talk about CAF Champions League. And for the first time in 11 years, Ghana will have a representative in the group stages of the CAF Champions League. Following Mediame's success over Horea FC in the second preliminary round of the competition, Mediama won the contest 4 3 on aggregate to book a ticket to the group stages of the competition. And president of the club, Moses Ama Parker, says uh, they want to make an impact in the competition. Indeed, we made history together on Saturday in Conakry. And this is a memorable event we must all cherish. Ladies and gentlemen, as well as friends from the media, even though we qualified and made it as the first Ghanaian club from Takwa to play in the CAF Champions League group stage, we want to highlight that it did not come on a silver platter. And we know we have a far more difficult task ahead. As we will play against the giant in Africa, club football, in the group stage. As a result, we will need most and all forms of support to make our result championship journey successful. We do not want to be mere participants in this condition. Hence, our call this morning for the government and corporate Ghana to come to our aid. And talking of corporate Ghana coming to the aid of Mediama SC, we understand that uh, uh, Goldfields have uh, terminated their contract with the club. And as, as we speak, they are no longer sponsors of the club. But the engagements are ongoing to see if they can get them to rescind the decision of sponsoring Mediama Sporting Club. Let's hear from the man who supervised the success of Mediama SC to qualify to the group stage of the, uh, the CAF Champions League for the first time in the history of the club. Evans Odote, he says that the Ghanaians should uh, have confidence in them and give them the needed support to do well in Africa. To start from where we, we, took, we took off, it wasn't easy, honestly speaking. But thank God we were able to eliminate our first opponent, opponent Remo FC. Before um, the second leg in Nigeria, uh, media, I might say, sometimes you know, I would tell the media to encourage and motivate coaches, honestly speaking. Some of you do, some of you, they start condemning coaches. It took the whole nation by surprise to see Ghana through to the second, second round. Thank you, coach. Because after winning 1-0, it came to my notice everywhere. Mm. Even calling me as a coach, I don't think they saying, how did it go, blah, 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 blah you could see there was no hope for Mediama to sail through to the next stage. Thank God, like I said, we were able to make it. And then number two, we won 3-1 at home. Winning 3-1 at home, uh, my secret I want to share with you today, as I, as I speak, we are facing challenges. Challenges one, injury. When you talk of med med medical, the doctor is here to, pro to prove we manage, we need to manage players sometimes. We need to motivate, we need to encourage players. Just die for the club. If your dignity is at stake, die for yourself. And lo and behold, we were able to go to the final stage. This time around, we are in the group stage. All that I want to tell Ghanaians is um, believe in us. I have my able president, Mr. Moussi Sama, 
who will always motivate me? Who will always motivate the players? And this is our wrap up AM Sports here with me, Muftaro Nabila Abla. You can join us on Joy 99.7 FM tonight as we bring you the commentary uh, of uh, Manchester United versus Curtis Wright. That game uh, will be uh, live on Joy 99.7 FM. We appreciate your time.